Hi, I'm Atifa Jabali. I'm presenting our work, which is quantifying the quality of parent-child interaction through machine learning based audio and video analysis towards a vision of AI-assisted coaching support for social workers. Attachment is the emotional bonding between a child and a caregiver. Whether or not there is a secure attachment in early childhood has a deep lifeline impact on the child. Attachment-based interventions hold the key to nurturing strong emotional connections between children and caregivers. It positively impacting lifelong development. However, the current label intensive process of evaluating parent-child interactions limits widespread accessibility. So our goal is by utilizing the power of AI make these interventions accessible to vulnerable populations and creating lasting positive change in children's lives. To do this project, we did below steps. We assembled video recording data set. We performed data pre-processing a step containing data cleaning, designing a customized person re-identification. We perform exploratory data analysis of temporal dynamic of mother and child posture patterns to discover features. We extracted appropriate video and audio features. Next, we applied machine learning model to predict the parent-child interaction characteristics. Finally, we analyzed and compared model result. Our data contain pre-intervention baseline data of at-home video recording of 220 mother child approximately 15 minutes, which mother child were engaged in the three-back game, which is a semi-structure play interaction test from both experiment and control group. Children are between six and 18 months. Mother at least 18 years old and speak English or Spanish. Also, data contains a scoring files with the three scores per video recorded, which rank it between one and five, provided by master coders. The plot uh, shows the distribution of the three scores. To assess the quality of parent-child interaction, we extracted posture information by using open post software. The software can identify each participant's position in the video frame and save key points as a CSV file. An example output of the OpenPost software is shown on the right, where a set of key points are displayed. But the OpenPost performs key points extraction on a frame by frame and randomly assign unique identifiers to each person each each frame then creates challenges for tracking a given person across all frames during an entire video. So to address this limitation, we developed a customized person re-identification approach that used unique characteristics such as a skeleton size, uh, shoulder length and body shape differences between adult and children, for example, an individual with a larger body shape is more likely to be a mother. By combining these insights, we successfully overcome the limitation of keeping track of person identification across all frames in the videos. The left plot in this slide shows the neck position of all frames of a video. Each color corresponds to a unique person identifier randomly assigned by OpenPost. In this experiment, in plot A, there are indeed only two persons in the video, but OpenPost considered some objects in some frames as persons by mistakes. So we did three steps. In step one, removing uh, non-persons objects. By carefully examining each frame, we removed outlier frames containing more than two people, which often include room objects incorrectly classified as people. In step two, by calculating the distance between each individual neck and mid hip key points, we assign unique and uh, consistent ID. For example, the individual with a, a larger torso size was assigned as a mother. In step three, then we handle missing key points. For example, with missing torso length, we calculated each person's standard deviation of all body key points. As the plot D shows, we successfully separated two people throughout an entire 
video. After data cleaning and identifying the mother and child in each video, we perform exploratory data analysis to extract features to be used in machine learning model. Among the key points detected by OpenPost, we noted that some are more reliable with high estimation confidence and fewer missing values like neck, nose, and right and left shoulders. So we focus on exploring features derived from those key points. First, we use feature based on distance between mother and child. We calculated Euclidean distance of mother and child's stable key points as a proxy of temporal dynamic of the mother and child distance. Also, we noticed that the mother in high scored video frequently moved compared with the mother in low scored video. So we use mother dynamic as another feature. We extracted uh, six features from videos. First feature describes the distance between child and mother, which includes the median of right shoulder distance, left shoulder distance, neck distance, and nose distance between mother and child in a video. Second feature set describes the child and mother's dynamic movement, which includes the median of the child nose position variance and mother nose position variances in a video. Next, we extracted audio features. We employed a two-step approach to explore the feasibility of automatic analysis of audio data in future applications. We firstly manually annotated a random sample of six audio recordings using the Elon software annotation. We mainly annotated silence, mother talking, or child talking segment from which we generated a training set. Secondly, we use Open a Smile tool to extract audio features like MFCC, energy, fundamental frequency, and loudness. We train and validate a voice activity detection model built with random forest to predict voice activity labels, like, as, like silence, mother talking, or child talking. Based on those predictions, we extracted feature for each audio recording. This feature list include the uh, cumulative duration for mother talking, child talking, silence, and total duration. These audio features are used in machine learning in conjunction with video features to describe before. We randomly split uh, data uh, to, into training and test set, maintaining a ratio of 70% of the data as training and 30% as test set. We use a grid search approach with 10 false cross validation for uh, each models with different hyperparameters. Also, we utilize two methods for predicting bound between mother and child, classification and regression. In classification, each output variable was allocated to low and high classes based on the threshold of the median of each output value. In regression, we use three regression models to predict continuous target value as it is. This plot uh, summarizes the classification model's performance on held out test set measured by area under curve for each combination of modalities. And machine learning models fit on target of positive regards on the left, intrusive map on the middle, and sensitivity on the right. The vertical line in the AUCS score for the random classifier is of uh, 50%. So the results show that positive regard is, is relatively easier to predict compared to two other rating categories. Also, all model predicting all three class labels are able to outperform random classifier, which is baseline model for evaluating the performance of other models. Uh, this plot summarizes the R, R, M, S, L, E on the held out test set for regression model fit on target positive regard left, intrusiveness middle, and sensitivity on the right. From the result, we noted for positive regard, the best performance model is a simple linear regression model achieving 18% error reduction. For intrusiveness, the best performance model is simple linear regression model achieving 5% error reduction. 
for sensitivity, audio features do not seem to help. And the best performance model was observed for K nearest neighbor and random forest with 5% improvement. This study is the first study to use three bag protocol data set to assess parental behaviors, which has practical implication as evidenced by EHS plus ABC intervention study. Also, our model predicting three scores outperform the baseline models. Our result shows that the classification model are more successful in predicting positive regards with the AUC of 79% compared to other target and the regression models predicting positive regards reduce RMSA from the mean predictor by 18%. Also, the audio features, especially voice activity measuring models, cumulative talk duration were among the most useful features. This study is the first step toward a vision of AI-assisted coaching support system. To fully realize the vision, we outline a few concrete steps for future work. Firstly, Develop more accurate model from our model at the diagnosis and error analysis. We have identified several potential areas for exploration to enhance the model. Firstly, address the lack of diversity in ground truth labels. Second, we plan explore oversampling and data augmentation techniques. Finally, we plan to improve the model throughout better feature engineering. Also for consideration of model deployment in the real world, we plan monitoring model performance to ensure external validity and free of bias, identifying appropriate operational conditions, also incorporating model into social workers workflow. Thank you all for listening to my presentation.